So today I'm here to share with you guys the Hisense 32 inch Roku Smart TV. This is what you guys are looking at right here. And guys, I can tell you from just having purchased this item that this is one of the easiest TVs I have ever set up ever. And I have many TVs in my house. On top of that, I was so impressed by this TV that I ended up getting a second one that is in another room in this house. Um, I originally purchased this so that I could actually have this in my kids' room and have control over what they're watching. I also wanted to have a TV that wasn't necessarily directly connected to any additional cables and that type of thing, which is another feature on this TV that was really, really great because everything that I connected to this TV for the most part, minus obviously plugging it in, which you guys see the wire below, is wireless, okay? With that said, this is essentially the home screen, okay? So the really cool thing about this TV is the fact that number one, you are gonna be able to connect this to cable if you have cable, and you can do that wirelessly. But if you are someone who is trying to get away from having cable services and just wants to have their streaming apps on here, you can do that as well. Roku is also built into this TV, so the only thing you need is a Roku account, which is free, okay? So the setup on this was so simple because everything was wireless, right? Even connecting to the Wi-Fi, you do not have have to hardwire that in either that also connects wirelessly as well. This also came with a remote along with the stands that you would essentially use if you wanted to mount this on a TV stand. We chose to go ahead and mount it on a wall with a TV mount. Um, the only cord that we have to hide is the cord that you guys see that's literally just the electric cord that I'm connected or that I have connected to um, the outlet, right? So we do have to hide that. But outside of that, this has been absolutely such an incredible purchase, okay? And the really cool thing about this is the fact that on top of being able to set this up so super easy, you can put whatever streaming apps you want to put on this, okay? So for instance, if I'm going over here, I've got my usual stuff. We've got ESPN because we've got my hubby here who loves sports. Then of course, all the educational fun programs for the kids, Nick Jr., PBS Kids, Disney Now, all the fun things, Blippi, you have so many different options that you can use to really um, just make the experience awesome because this is literally my TV in the kids room and so I always like to make sure that I can more easily control and really know what they're watching on a regular basis but the other thing is too that I can also connect my cable which mine is connected to my cable surfaces wirelessly so all I had to do was download the app for my cable company that I belong to and that was that and I can actually stream any of the shows that I normally watch on my cable using this Roku TV as well. Speaking of streaming apps, the really cool thing is that you can customize your menu on the screen. It's super easy to do, okay? So if you have specific apps that you are more in habit of watching or streaming, okay? You can actually have those ordered first or have those placed up top on top of your menu so that if there's specific things that you go to more often, you've got that option as well. But as you guys can see, pretty much every and all apps are obviously available that you can actually have on your Roku TV and it's just super convenient. I mean, everything is right here, right in front of you, okay? The sound quality and the picture quality on this is absolutely, positively incredible, okay? And you can control all of those things and even access some of your favorite streaming apps with this remote right here. So on the side, you're gonna see there's the option to turn down the volume and of course, to mute it as well. You'll click this button to mute it, okay? Like I said, it's such a super easy TV to use. My kids can use it very, very easily. And probably the best thing about this TV outside of the fact that it's got amazing sound quality, picture quality, etc., and just the accessibility of the streaming apps and that type of thing is really the setup on this thing. It is probably the easiest TV to set up that I have ever dealt with. Okay? Okay, to the point, like I said, that I actually ended up purchasing a second one for another room in our house because it was just that easy to use. So with that said, I hope this video helps in making your decision.